All right, hello world. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing good. Stream two for the day. In pretty good shape. I got a sprite over there. I got a sprite over here. I got a sprite everywhere. Um. So what we're doing? What are we doing? We left off earlier. I had to go to the UPS store for a little bit there because I picked up a new ring light, which is not on, which I guess I can turn on. Oh, that's, I gotta figure out if I'm gonna like that or not. Like, I'll have to look at it. It's super bright though, straight, so I may end up getting, or like moving it over to the side or something, um, which isn't ring lighty, but I just need light because um, sometimes it gets a little, a little dark in here at night. I've got another light over there, but it's not so great. Um, really, I just want a camera that has better low light capabilities because at night I get a little uh, get a little blinded blinded by the light we should play that song except we don't have the rights so anyways what are we doing what are we doing um, I'm uh, so this is my little local launchpad website which is just a whole bunch of PHP pages and um, I want to move that uh, and just raw PHP there's no framework there's nothing it's just it's running on a MAMP server and it's a it's a few PHP pages thrown around, um, some of which don't really even do anything. Like this page is just HTML. There's nothing happening. But what I want to do is move my website over to Django, uh, which is the Python frame, uh, web framework or a Python web framework. I'm sure there's multiples. Um, and so I started to mess around. I've messed around with Django before. Uh, I started to mess around with it again a little while back and was just very frustrated by the tutorial. I couldn't make it through it. It just wasn't clicking with me. So what I'm doing in order to learn how to use Django is I'm writing my own tutorial about how to do it. Um, it's it's the same thing I would kind of do in general in terms of like writing down the process of the notes or whatever, because like yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take what other people have written and then turn it into stuff that I can understand moving things around and, and coming up with different examples. Um, so I, I do that when I'm working with, with pretty much anything. Um, it's a little hot on the mic. Um, but now I'm actually going to like do it as a, like as a tutorial tutorial. So I'm actually going to see if I can put one together and see, see how that works. Um, cause it's, I was frustrated enough with this. I, I think Django is a really interesting project and I think it could do better if it was easier and more addressable to get into, I guess is where I'm headed. Um, so I've got uh, some basic stuff set up. So in this Django directory, I've got a site that's this example site. Uh, first thing we need to do is use a little shortcut to get in the virtual environment. We go into example. We're gonna open sublime text on that directory. Make sure you can see it. Oh, you might not have been able to see those commands. I don't know why that keeps jumping down there. Um, so I don't know why uh, we changed a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I should probably drop PyCache. Uh, might as well do that, uh, even though it's already there. Oh, I should have put in um, where's my Get, nope. Where's my git ignore? Git ignore, defaults. That's sitting right there at the top. Uh, actually, let's go up a directory and just do it here. I should have done this to start with. Whatever. Um, oh, <laughs> that's not really to do much, is it? Uh, because it wasn't actually in the Git repository. Um, git ignore that. Oh, actually, uh, oh, it's been a while since I've used. Nope. Fail. Try that again. So insert, paste it. Oops. Right, but how do you get, oh, that's undo. Uh, that's redo. 
Okay, I'm up the top. That's what I was trying to do. Just get up there. Whatever. That works. Um, hit status. All that other stuff is still there. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to blow this away before long, so it's fine. Um, whatever. We're just going to do it all. Uh, updated to add links to individual checklist item pages. That's what we did last time. So that's there. Cool. Uh, oh, I should open stream notes. Stream notes. Can I get better at doing this too? Start. Working on Django tutorial. G-N-G-O. Whatever, it's fine. We'll get that. Um, so if we run where we are, right? If we run Python manage, run server, which I'm getting more used to. I'm gonna take this one out of this playlist. And then we go to our port here. So this is our Django homepage. Um, and the thing that we built was this checklist. And the thing we did last time was uh, we set up the links to go to the individual checklist pages. So that's cool. I like that. Now what we need to do is figure out how to edit these uh, on this page. So we've already got um, the capability of editing them through the admin here. Uh, right here, click. Actually, how do you go? No. Oh, I guess you just click ID. Gotcha. Oh, it's interesting. So when I first did it, I didn't have the IDs in here. I just had the titles and you click on the titles. But now you click on the IDs to get there. I'm sure there's a way to turn the titles on. That's for more. Uh, that's level 201. We're in 101 still. But what we want to do is figure out on this checklist page, which templates checklist, which I don't have a great name for this. We're going to come up with a better one. Um, so here's, here's the checklist page right now, uh, which gives us the ID, the title, and then a a flag for if it's done or not. Um, and so now what we want to try and do is we're going to go look at the official tutorial because I'm now that I've kind of got my most of the stuff done, the actual early stuff to kind of get it going, I can go in and kind of pick out the parts that I that I want to have um, and want to use uh, and and worry and work it that way. Take the tutorial. So I think, where is, how do you get to the other parts? Table contents. Database setup, all this stuff, raising 404, using the template, writing the first tests. form and searching URLs. So writing a minimal form is about. Yeah. Let's update the poll detail template so that it contains HTML form element. So again they just here just bleh, have all this code. We also created a double invitation of vote function. Let's create the real version. Um, request post. We're gonna look at Mozilla. Django. Uh, 
creating using models, admin, creating a homepage, generic list, sessions, permission, working with forms. Let's see what we've got in here. This looks good. And this tutorial will show you how to work with HTML forms in Django. And in particular, easiest way to write forms, to create, update, delete, model instances. Perfect. As part of this demonstration, looks on local library website so the librarians can re renew books. Great. And do all that other jazz. Okay, great. Yep, an HTML form. Yep, so there's the admin form. Cool. So yeah, so like I could do all the work that I want to do through admin, but I want to actually have it as part of the site. I don't have to keep going into admin, um, which I guess you could maybe probably make links to get in there. But like, let's let's push it front and actually do it for real. Uh, working form can be complicated. Developers need to write. Blah blah blah. This tutorial we're going to show you how to do that. Cool. First, brief overview of forms. That's not a bad idea. But like. Nah, yeah, see, this is just a lot of stuff. And like, I don't need to know all this the first time through. I just want to put a form on the page and change some text and see the text change. Okay. We're a third of the way down the page and three chapters in and we can figure this out. Form class is a heart of that. Cool. It specifies fields. Okay. Declaration for form is much like model. Form data is stored in the application's forms pi file. Create an open file forms. Create a form. Then import the forms library. So in this case, forms of a single thing. Okay, so we're in our checklist. We're not going to be in templates. We're going to be up here. Oops. We're going to make a new file and put that in there. So from Django import forms, I'm going to comment this out for now, just to, whoops, no, I'm not because it's plain text, it thinks. So this is checklist, checklist, we're going to make forms.py. checklist forms.py with so renew book form 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 renewal date forms date field help test enter. okay so let's see if we can figure out how to make this work so what we're going to do is do update checklist item name forms form that sounds right renewal date checklist name forms so let's get oh, okay so hang on a second let's copy this over What did this have? Is help text the only thing that's in there? Yeah. All right. So checklist text. We're going to forms.char field. Help test text equals updated. And then all the rest of that stuff is not there. 
so step one. Looks like it's still compiling, okay. Let's put this in our notes. So, in this case, we have a single date field. There are many, so like, uh, the arguments, validation. URL configuration. You. Okay, so it either renders it or it shows an error, right? For the form uses a post, request to submit the server must come in. Arms post, if reply method. Look renewal process, we're running our database, so by convention we use posts. I want to put it on the page first. Like I want to, I want to see the form box. Like where? Template. Okay. So much stuff. All right, let me switch over. I just want to see. So that's in the templates. Detail. Okay, so error message, function polls, vote, question ID. So we're here. All right, let's work on that one. Checklist, checklist item, which is what I'm doing for my detail. So Yeah, this is a little different. So really what I want to do is have like an edit window to open up. Um, I'm going to go through this now. Yeah, just just to figure this out, I'll go back. I'm probably gonna address that a little bit in the template and actually put another like build another page to do it. Um, we're gonna do this for now. So form action. So I'm just gonna get some. I'm just gonna get a form on the page. Polls not registered. Right. So checklist. I'm gonna just do it to index. I think this is gonna let it be okay. And then checklist object ID, right? Nope, 
checklist is not registered. Uh, URL, what does that do? What does that do? Okay. Uh, Checklist item, maybe? Checklist item is not in registered namespace. Okay, let's back up a little bit in the tutorial and see if we can figure this out. Oops, okay. This, of course, is the trick with bouncing off a tutorial um, and not going through all their steps is my, like, I got to figure out the parts of mine where they don't work right. All right, well, let's do this just to get it showing up. So I took out all that junk. Um, and then I can actually put this inside there value equals that which again i'm not worried about escaping this is just the basics like if this is not trying to actually build a robust website this is just trying to like get stuff to show up uh, and work Oh, maybe the name is what you use for those little, these targets. We put the parens after it, polls vote. Yeah, but that's it, okay. So how So this is the form. That's for the vote though. Like that's putting all that in one place. And results is a whole different thing. All right, I just want to I just want to edit a thing. That's interesting. I'm not gonna worry about that though, right? Not yet, anyways. So, how do you send context form equals form? Okay. Form. Renew book form. Create a form instance and populate it with the data request from binding. From request binding. Request post. Check if the form is valid. Form is valid. Process the data and form clean data is required. Book instance do back. Form clean data at due date. Book instance save, then redirect back out. If this is a git or any other method, create the default form. Context form gender. So I just, I don't need that then. How do I, what I want 
And again, I'm just gonna hack through this as, as much as possible, I guess. So how forms? So if I'm in my views and I'm in checklist item, form, So does this have from catalog forms import renew? Okay, so in the views, so I'm in my views, move this over here. From checklist forms import that let's just see if that works yeah okay, it's still alive Got that called. And the checklist, so now let's see form equals that. Broke. Oh, this, I need a comma, I think. Right? field update it yes it'd be great if I could actually deliver the form this way this would be awesome like when that's how it's designed to work um, <laughs> cool okay so that's there I don't need that processing stuff yet. What I do want to do is this in my this. I'll leave that there for a second. Put this here. Let's we'll see what happens. Sweet checklist text. Update it. Nice. Okay. Get rid of this. So I'm just throwing all these notes in. I'll, they'll, I'll clean them up later. Um, but I want to see. So forms. It takes forms.form. All right. How did it pass? Request.post. If it's a post, otherwise create the default form. Initial So I should be able to do you know in the forms. This is in forms, right? Is it still a form page? 
No, this is in views. So in the views, whoops, oh, so form, eventually I'll do this in another place, but I just want to start here, equals, Look at the model, right? It's checklist. Look, let's. Propose renewal date. Where is that set? So renew the, okay, I'm just gonna put, let me just put something in here to start with and see if that shows up here. It does, okay, so that's how we send to that. Now how do we send it the existing checklist item object is the object with the name of this. That should send it, right? No. Wait, what happened? Oh, there it goes. Just needed to think for a second. Cool. Okay, yeah, so this can actually be the edit page for this one. Um, like when you're when we're working on the checklist stuff, you just the the main interface. will be uh, this, and we'll have maybe the checkboxes there. I don't know, yeah, so, and then, yeah, and then you can add it here. Yeah, that'll work. Where's my template? This to that. Whatever, it's fine. Uh And so where does checklist text, where's that all that come from? I'm not worried about it right now. Uh, so there's, there's that. Now how do we get it to update? Yeah, input type submit. Trying to figure out where the actual I thought the form call was in here. Um, and I was trying to figure out how that uh, submit text would get to it, but that ain't the case. All right, what do we got? What does that look like? It's ugly, but it is functional. We can clean it up later.
So boom, admin page, boom, display page, right? Yeah, okay. So just wanna make sure it really is giving us different stuff and it is. Um, submit, ain't gonna go nowhere, right? Where does that go? CSRF verification failed, all right. So do we need to do anything for that token is the question. It wants it underneath the form. Yeah, okay, so it does its own thing, cool. Cross site request forgery token, maybe something like that. Um, So from the form template. So here's our views page. All right, so if request method equals post, we're actually gonna, yeah, I guess we're gonna use this same, um, the same methodology. Cause it's, so the, the way that I would have done this in the past is I've got a page with a form on it. I would make the edits in the form and when I hit go, I would fire it to another page that does the processing and then redirects back. Um, they're taking it to the same page here um, and they're still doing the redirect, so it still does a pro it's just all on the same page. And I'm trying to figure that out if that freaks me out or not. It's a, it catches a post, so it should be fine. Um, create a form instance and populate with the data from the request finding. Okay, so this may, hang on a second. So this is in views. This is in checklist item. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is this. Django example. Uh, I don't remember how to take stuff out of Get um, so whatever those all those five things can just sit in there. Um, that's cool. Um. So now what I'm gonna do, and this is a little where I feel like this should be TDD tested, but I don't know how to do that yet. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that in the, for the minute, for the minute, for a minute. What I am gonna do is, hold, V1, whatever. And we're in V2 now. So if post else, we're gonna move all this stuff over. And so what should happen right now is I should still be able to just refresh the page without hitting the post thing and it should still just keep refreshing. Nope, oh, don't send it again. Busted something. Aha. Gotta give it something to chew on. 
cool. Yeah, so I can keep refreshing this because it's not, so there's a post request and a get request are the two primary types that you can send across. A get request is what we're doing right now. A post request is what the form would do. Um, and so I'm not, I, I'm looking for post requests and if I see one, I'm not doing anything. And I'm, if I don't get one, I'm just doing the rest of the stuff, which is a get request. So I just wanted to make sure that that pipe is still working. So now I can set up the pipe that does, that deals with the post stuff, which is what the form will send. Cause let's see what happens actually if I send, oops, if I send it. Yeah, it didn't return an HTTP response object. Return none instead, because we're not sending anything back, um, which is as expected, because we didn't have anything there. So, create a form instance and populate with the data from the request. So, this and our form name is this from the request post, because request is here. Uh, I probably need something to make that happen. Yeah, we're gonna need this. We need both of those. I'm not going to try and do validation or anything. I just want to get the pipes working. So I want to bounce it back to that page. I want to get that set up. So we've made the form and we're going to bounce back to uh, views. What would be its list of new URLs? So I'm guessing it's this name, which is checklist item. Ooh, why is there an enter there? Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That, uh, there's not actually space there. It just decided to put the single quote next to that instead of here. I would have preferred it here. Bummer. Cross fingers. Uh, yes, resend. Ah, checklist item with no argument was found. Page one. Oh, okay. Uh, checklist item. I'm just gonna do this for now. Crap. It's not a valid view function or pattern name. All right. See, their redirect went to all bar. Okay, so let's let's actually do this. Let's just try and redirect all the way back to index. Just to see if we can make something happen. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so there's our redirect. So checklist here. Bounce back. Okay, I just. Again, I want to get the wiring going. So, so there's that, there's this, and now we should be able to go back to checklists. See if this works. Submit. Checklist is not found. Wow, it gives you all kinds of good stuff. Um, All right, how do you make it go back? To itself. Forms, URLs, checklist item. 
All right, let's see what the other tutorial has. Return, render, reverse polls results, args question. Okay, here's how we do it. that put that here so we can see it reverse to pull so it would be checklist checklist item put any arguments there. Checklist is not a registered namespace. Uh, let's look at our app. Checklist URLs. Certainly should be. Or does it have to be settings? Does it have to be... No, checklist. Oh, do I have to import something? Oops, that was aggressive. Also, I lost my place. From forms. Import required permissions now. So we're in polls views. Go to polls results. Response, redirect, get object, render, reverse, models. Redirect takes a single argument, the URL which these should be directed to. See the following point for how we construct the URL in this case. We should always return that. This tip isn't specific to John Django. Yeah, make sure to do a redirect. That's cool. That makes sense. We're using reverse the function helps avoid having to hard code a URL in the view. It's given the name of the view that we want to pass control to. And the variable portion of the URL pattern that points to the view. Here's the question ID. It's redirection. Redirected URL will then call the response results. Poll results, polls results. So, but it says, in this case, using the you have conf. Okay, so URL conf we set up in three. So, where's polls? Pulls URLs. These are the patterns. Yeah, that's where the names come in. Views results. So this is pulls URL. So why doesn't? So this is checklist URLs. So why can't we go to check to just make a good checklist index? Checklist is not a registered namespace. I would, I'm sure I can Google that in a second and find it pretty easily, but I wanna, this is me exploring the docs.
because I don't understand. Because it's we're in checklist. Import views. Name is index. Views.index. It's like right there. It's on a single dot, is it? No, that's views. That wouldn't do it either. Nope. It's not a valid view function or parameter. Oh, wait a minute. That's different. But I still don't understand checklist. Not a valid view function or parameter name. Okay, wait a minute. That's different. Checklist is not a registered namespace. You polls is not a registered namespace. Let's see what this guy has. A lot of code is what it has. explanation going on here. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait. so let's do look at one thing here. Where's the top level URLs? There's no name here. What's that going to do? Polls, yeah, that's I need to find the most fit. In. I hate this. Please read that carefully. Like, the answer is add a namespace to your root real conference. You know what? What was this? 2013. Yeah, guess what? Not helpful. What was it? To read the fucking manual, that's it, RTF. That's better. The answer is to add the namespace to your URL. Namespace. Back in 23rd. I want to go see. So is this? No. This is where part three left off. Where is response? Spacing. I might be able to get away with putting our templates directly in. Nope, that's not. Namespacing URL names. Here we go. How's Django know URLs between them? Details. How's Django know which of you to create when using URL template? The answer to this is that namespace to your URL conf. Go ahead and add app name.
to point to the namesace detail view. Which doesn't do a super good job of explaining namespaces if you don't know it. But okay, this is this is it. Um, so in polls and checklist URLs. I'm just going to call it singular for now because there is only the one checklist. Uh, actually, where is. Let's see, we just do that now. Make the file examiner. Once you have it, put this code in it. So now, checklist index. Works. Got it. Oops. So now we actually want to do the update, which the Mozilla tutorial looked like it gave me a good way to do that. So create a form instance. I've already got that going, I think. Right, we've got that. At some point I'm gonna figure out if there's a way to like console.log this stuff. Check if the form is valid. Process the data. Oh, it's got its own built-in thing. It's weird. It seems like you should do something if the form isn't valid here. Maybe it does automatically? I don't know. Instance dot do back. So where's the book instance set up? Renew book from librarian. View function for renewing a specific book instance by librarian. So here. That's actually this. So we're gonna get we're we're getting a request. Whoops. Crap. That just I hate it when it does that. Cut. Don't paste nothing. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. Sublime text three. So I control X. So I've got something cut. If I hit control C, even with nothing selected, it copies nothing. Oh, it co copied two characters. But if I paste, there's nothing there. Hang on, it says copy two characters. Is it copying around? 
mean, the problem is I accidentally sometimes hit Control C. But wait, if I just copy in the middle here, just copies the line. Uh, interesting. I don't know if I like that though. I'd rather do that. Whatever. We've moved some code. Let's see if it works. Nope. Broke it. Return response. What do we do? All right. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. We working? No. Nope. Not working. What happened? Keep backing up. Oh, I think I see what's going on. I just want to get back to working. Okay. So now form is valid, right? It needs an if statement, that's why. Try again. There we go. There. Backs up. Oh, little bit of form reference before it's been assigned. Aha. If it's a post. Right, if it's a post, make the form, then check if it's valid. That order makes sense. Yes, do please do it again. Okay, here, here, good. So if it's valid, this is where we're gonna do work. Do work. But if it's not a get, or if it's not a post, so this is where I think this. We're going to pull this up here because this is where we're doing the get object of 404. So we, we're getting the number passed in and we want to create our instance of our checklist item and pull it in. So that's cool. I need to figure out how, to, how the 404 is going to work there. But this is the start. So we're cool. So this should still work. There, 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 there. Sweet. Let's get rid of this. And now we do the update. So we've got our form, it's valid. We've got our instance. So now we just need to tell it to do our update. So it's going to be our checklist item object. I will make better names for these later. Uh, where's the model? Why didn't the model stay open? Checklist text. Form clean renews checklist text. think here oh unindent does not oh indentation you wily wily coyote hey look spaces and tabs spaces and tabs spaces and tabs Did. Ah, how about this? Look, it changed. Tap to crap. Hmm. Well, that's surprising. Because it's hitting the redirect, which means it went through checklist object do back. Oh, do back is not the right. We don't have a do back. I'm surprised that didn't die.
Look. It really changed this time. Aha! There we go. New stuff. Good stuff. That's actually really slick. I like that. Uh, that's really cool. So let's... Yeah, so here's... Whatever. Here's our homepage. Got our checklist. Good stuff. Good stuff is here. Oops. Up we goofed. Now I can fix it. Here. That's super fast, too. We're I mean, not going over the wire anywhere, but, like, that's pretty freaking fast. And it's... There's three things in the database, so that's kind of to be expected, but um, it's still nice. It's not sitting there churning a bunch of stuff. Uh, all right, so let's see what else they have. Oh, so we're, we're already doing the form. And we're passing the form, so we already did that part. Um, yeah, this is cool. So there's our, there's our edit. So, also need to redo that to edit. Um, so we still need to, well, the first thing we should do is get status. Oh, modified view light. Yeah, so the database doesn't need to be in there at all. Um, I don't remember how to do that. I'm not gonna look it up right now. It'll be fine. Set up edit of checklist items. So still need to Report, I still need to make new ones, need to delete them, and then need to have the switch to do on-offs on them. Um, and that'll be the that'll be the full first part of the tutorial. And then a second part of the tutorial can be like categorizing them, I guess. To putting them into different lists. Yeah, that would actually be a good a good progression, is to make different lists out of them. Um, I don't know if that's the best way to do that though, because we already have the checklist page. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play with that when we get there. Um, but I think, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to play with anything more. Um, yeah, I'll do a little more. Let me take a quick break and I'll be right back. Um, oh, I wish I could play hamster dance, but like, that's gonna, they're gonna see that and copyright strike me. Um, the, and I'm afraid anything I put up, they're gonna copyright strike me. I need like original art for like, please stand by. Um, oh, actually, I know what I can do. But if somebody comes to the stream, they're gonna think it's broken. Uh, that's okay. Be right back. I guess I should have the mic muted on that one.
Oh, it's a different uh, angle. You can see where my backdrop fades. Oh well. Oh, I can do this. There we go. Uh, let's see. I really should take. So it's tricky with the stream notes here because I. This is a long running thing, so I need to, I guess chop it up and figure out what I did in different par different parts of each of the stream notes or streams which I had done this differently it would have worked um oh well such is life uh okay cool so we're here so how do we add how do we add one If you accepted the challenge and use their auth, you'll have a list of all the books on loan to the library. There's only visible library stuff. Yeah, and see, that's like, shouldn't be a challenge. You should, like, if you're gonna do it, do it, because now we're talking about stuff that, whatever. Creating a form class with the first of all those reflexive languages. Isn't that what we just did? Wait, what's a model form? Form. Most information comes from model field definitions. Why wouldn't? Oh, why don't you show me this to start with? Change is necessary. Check if days not in the past. Now, functionally equivalent to our model book form, you could also import it, use it other currently in your book form, as long as you update the corresponding variable names, variable names. Oh. Like, if that's the better way to do it, show the better way to do it. Or just pick one. Like, in, in a 101 tutorial, pick one way. And, like, pick one way. Yeah. And I mean, the way people are gonna, so, and pick the way that if, if people only had one way to pick, they would, that would be, you know, like pick the best default, I guess is the way to say that. I'm now frustrated again. So is that in, they don't have it there. Oh, that's probably on the wrong page. Excuse me. Nope, they don't have it there either. Oops. Or DEL form. No, okay. Whatever. I guess that makes me happier if it's not there. Generic editing views. So we've got our edit. Ah, delete author. Create and delete views use the same template by default, or create an update named after the model change the stuff in the form create the template author form and copy the text below but again let me clear six or f to ensure that friends are resistant to cfr and asset yes i like that the lead view expects to find a template named with a format named that model name confirmed delete 
again, you can change the suffix, uh, suffix, whatever. Create the template view, copy the text below. Confirm delete HTML. Plot content. Yes, sir. Create an update. Use a similar. What should be named after your model? So, does this just work? up some of this and oops form as table save templates checklist checklist form HTML Right? This is what this is telling to do. Create that and copy the text below. This is similar, note how it has that. The delete view expects a template in the format, confirm delete, okay. which is checklist URLs. Add the following to the bottom of the file. No way. Uh, which we're already in checklist, so we shouldn't need those. Do that for now. Oops, maybe. Include back to the bottom of it. Author delete. Author update. Okay, so yeah, so. Update, update view, author to delete view. So back these out for a second. Yeah, this is getting a little dicey uh, with all this going on. So we're already doing our update. Get rid of that. 
Oh, class. Wait, 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 wait. Where's this going? Oh, it's going in views. Django views generic edit. Look at that. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to do a different thing for this. This is getting, this is a lot right now. So we're going to spin up another. So going to walk through a little bit of the tutorial and spin up another instance. So we're in a virtual environment. We're gonna make a new one called edits. We're gonna go into edits. We're gonna run migrate. We're gonna do a tone test on running a server. Oops. Oh. Oops, I was not gonna like that. What is going on? Copy, paste. There we go, works successfully. Now, because I'm just messing with an example, I'm not gonna worry about pages, but I'm gonna, we're gonna call this authors. to installed app uh, close 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 Oops. that went edits settings authors whoops Uh, authors, authors is fine. That's actually what's in there. Um, so get back into our edits. Sublime text. We're good. We were already good, but now we're good again. We're double good. So we're going to need make their P authors templates authors echo faster to uh, to have done that oh especially doing it that way should have just made the page and saved it there you go try that so we got that page all right 
Actually, let me go look now. I want to see... So this is the views. Model author. Okay, so it needs to have the model of author, right? Because it's in the view. I'm guessing is way back in a prior tutorial. Just trying to figure out the best way to kind of test. I, I want to test all these things, but I want to test it on a separate environment that I was just working in. Uh, but so this will actually, I can actually go through this as an example. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about pages right now. We're gonna get down to our checklist because that's really where things start to go into Database land, create your super user. Here we go. Might as well do this over here. Oops. No email address. Oh, fuck off. Oh, yes, please. Great, anyways. Create a new app, which we just did with edits. We've done that. All right, so now we're going to models. I should have called it checklist, really. That's what I should have done. Uh, we can still do that. that to our installed apps. So you're gonna call this well let's call it checklist list item again. What does this go into models? Models. Checklist. Models. Migration. Open the admin page. This check wasn't there. Get it to show up. Oops.
Oh, actually, that's fine for right now. Okay, we got one on there. I see a checklist objects. You can actually see the text. I'll just say checklist object. Checklist object one. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. I don't need to mess with that right now. It's on the display page. Templates, checklist, index. Add it to views. Make a new file and check out URLs. Wow, I'm having massive deja vu right now. So that example, there's really edits, edits URLs. What uh, you didn't add. I don't think that's gonna work. Wait, why do we have two admin? Oh, we did admin. Oh, it's because I did the root. I already did the include call. That's why. That's not there. Live. Whoops. Oh, yeah, there's nothing there. Checklist, checklist overview. Okay, there we go. So that's working. Now I just need to add that. So we're going to throw this in there. show me anything. See, this is also good because that's just one of my runs through uh, the checklist stuff. Checklists, views, URLs, checklist URLs. First, I want to do this at this point. I want to add them back later. So you put a data in it. Do that by updating this to that. in the views, right? That's what needs to happen. Yep, okay. Oh, 
Ooh, it's dark. Okay. This is probably to blind the, the Jesus out of me. Is that on? Or is it on? That's not what I did. Uh, that was up. Let's see if that's too bright for me. Let's see if we can get away with that. Uh, oh, it's still bright and right in my face. Um, yeah, it's just sitting right above the monitor. That's I'm gonna have to move that. Uh, now I just need to put it it. Start with that. So I've got the, I'm doing link already. Which I don't want to do right now. If this adds URL is verified, you want to do that at this point. I want to add them later. That is correct. I want to add them later. Okay, so we've got all that stuff up. Now what I want to see is these Mozilla pages. Open the views file and append the following code block to the bottom of it. It doesn't actually tell you, it just shows you a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go start putting stuff in and seeing what happens here. So this is our views. Actually, what happens when we put it at the bottom. Oh, you know what I could do? I could move this window over and down a little bit so I can see if it explodes. While actually doing the edits. That would be helpful. Oh, so much blinding brightness right now. Like it looks okay on screen, but. Yeah, that may be okay. We'll see how that goes. Uh, oh, I know part of the reason, oh, whoops. The reason is the monitor is all the way bright. There we go. So from catalog model import authors, which we don't have, but oh, we've already got checklist items, so that's already here. That's what we we're wanting to do. Now, see if I can handle these one at a time. Create an update. Use the same template by default, which will be named after the model, model name form. You change the subject to something other than form. Okay, so. this. I don't know if you need block content around it or not. I don't really know what that does anymore. I forgot what that does. Um, we're going to make a new file. We're going to save this. Our edits, 
checklist templates, checklist. Checklist item form HTML, right? Because it's checklist item is the thing that we're doing. Checklist item. I'm not gonna do the delete yet. Paths authors create. Oh, plus equals. That's interesting. Author, oh, no, 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 <laughs> checklist, this. Checklist. Checklist item create as view name. Checklist item create. Server didn't explode. Server exploded. Page not found. Just make sure it's because it's not liking that. Nope. Using the find URLs, Django tried these patterns in order. The current path checklist create. Wrote checklist in line six of URLs. Sweet. Uh, remote checklist. Remove, maybe. Remove checklist? Also, oh, I don't know. I'm burning through this. I don't know that I. Ha ha! Look at that. Thanks, he. That's awesome. So now does this actually do the thing? Nope. Uh, no URL to reject to. Oh, but did it make one? It did. Sadaf. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm going through right now this Mozilla part of the tutorial where it has the generic creates, updates, deletes. Um, because I've not seen those before, and that's uh, that's pretty good. So now I just got to get it to bounce back to a page that actually exists. Um, but that's cool. Uh, where does the redirect go? Oh, redirect lazy. Uh, there's not a redirect on create. Maybe it just goes back to itself. So it's there. No URL to redirect to. Either provide a URL. Refine a get absolute, get absolute URL on the method model. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. Um, just wanna make sure Where'd that go? It's still creating, right? Which is the third one? Sweet. Because uh, really the thing I'm after is delete. Well, no, this is, yeah, so that's solid. Um, put that back up there, I can see it. I want the delete one to work next. So delete view. Goes here. Wonder if there's will success URL work there? Nope. Worth 
both shot. Uh, let's see, create on delete. And then so you needed to have the delete confirmation is what it wanted. Which is model name confirm delete with all that jazz in it, okay. Let's add that in. Yeah, I gotta figure out if I wanna use these generic ones or kind of program my own for the way that I'm doing it. Um, probably URL pattern name. Okay, I gotcha. That makes sense. Um, I've got an example of one of those floating around. Let me hit the delete here for a second and get it running. Templates, deletes. Checklist item delete HTML. And then this was the delete one. Where do your go? I have many files open. I think I just closed it. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep, that's the root. Let me get rid of a few of these just so I can see what's going on. Come here. Yeah, this is like all just doing a quick hacky version um, to figure out how these things work. So uh, it's not uh, not meant to be super solid. So we're actually just gonna hard. No, actually, you want to do that, right? Because that gets passed to. Oh, interesting. Does it automatically know what to do with that? It might, or it must. So if we do one delete, page not found. Oh, what well, create? I don't want that. That. Delete author. Delete. Reverse for checklist is not found. Checklist is not valid. View function repeater. Okay, so that's because it's not in. Do you put that in URLs? Where do you put that? Uh, name index. You might want to pray place with checklist. Sweet. This one. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm just now getting to understand how those work. Um, in terms of that's those what are what you use to make the assembly of the URL call. So it'd be like URL checklist colon whatever thing, right? Um, so that's that's just now starting to click. Also, I should spell it right. Yep, item was deleted. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I look in, uh, where'd my admin go? So I've got three there now, but if I refresh, it should be one less. <laughs> Went the other way. Uh, let's try three, see what happens. Delete. There it goes. Oh, now it's going back to that index. Yeah, or not. now it worked. I don't have a page set up to view them yet. But if you hard code for slash delete, delete it, boom, it's gone. Okay. And then create gives me the form to make new ones. Yeah, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Um, so that goes back to checklist, which we can actually make come back. So there's five, right? Uh, so does it have, does this stuff have a straight views in it? 
Like it gives you these generic views. Create, update, delete. It doesn't give you a generic, just like, here's the view. Uh, I guess you could probably do that with the update one. Yeah, you could probably do that with update, right? Yeah, let's try that. Uh, let's get rid of that for now. Fields actually is my field name. Um, models, I think I just got checklist text. And it's a checklist item. Yeah, I'll go back. I, now that I'm getting my head around this, I'll go back and actually add notes for how to do it explicitly. I'm not a fan of the Mozilla style that they're doing right now. They just dump everything in front of you at the same time. Like I like kind of like, here's one, here's the next one, here's the next one, um, which is kind of what I'm trying to do with, uh, with what I'm writing up. So we've got that. Now we need to go check the template. Create and update uses the same thing. Okay. So if we put in the URL for update, oops. Update that, that. Oops, I don't want to comma there. What you might want to use generics will be sushi for useful. Sweet. Classy class based views, nice. I don't know why that went to a different browser. Nice. Uh, I will definitely look into this. Who's who's C CCBV? Do we know who CCBV is? The CCBV you? Mixins, off lists, edit details, dates, space browser. Or is this just a and about developed at uh, Refresh Oxford. All right, sounds awesome. Cool. I don't know. Uh, I don't know Refresh Oxford either. They got a Twitter. Don't see a Twitter. Alas. Which one? Twitter. All right. All right. Anyways, let's go check back and see. So. Oh, broke it. There's a problem. And it's something, I'm, I think it's something in here, right? Yeah, so something in there that I did. Oh, did I not make the... Aha! I didn't name it properly here. Now let's see if it's happy. Ah, it's happy. So if that's going to checklist five, if we want to make that go to, what's the URL pattern for that? Slash update, right? So if we edit our template for index and we put update here, Submit. Oh, all right. We got to fix this now. Um, but first, to, oh, and actually, we should make this print text. I have been burning past that the whole time. Um, let me make that. Let me make the redirect happen first. Then I'll make it do text. So, what's our error here? New no URL direct to either provide a URL or define. And so we said that this should work. 
I'm just gonna put that in for all these. Oh, right. This checklist, wait, this checklist goes to that URL. That's how that works, right? Because if I break that, yeah, okay, yeah. So if I break that, like I said, it's still kind of getting there. So if I break that, it's gonna go to the wrong URL because there's nothing in there with S at the end of it. But if I bring that back, oh, we're gonna double post it. That makes sense. So now when I do any of these, it'll just jump right back. That's awesome. And then I can also make a delete button. Kill it. Which would go to this. I probably already have the href, don't I? There. Space is fine. From our URLs, right, to here. So if we refresh that, there's kill it, and it's gonna ask me, yes, I wanna kill it, is dead. Nice. And then you can have create be a link here. Uh, actually, we'll put it above. Eh, we'll put it below, whatever. Make a, make a new one. Oops. So that gives us this. We go here. This is new. That would be our new one. So let's fix the text, which I think happens in views. Let me go my notes. I know it's. That's what we're looking for. Oh, you put it in models. Okay. So in the model here, we wanted to find a new method, like a sub method, I guess. I don't know what you call that. It's already named the right thing. How fast does that pick up? Whoops, wrong place. Oh, busted. Unexpected intent. Yay, tabs and spaces. Oh, it needs to be back one. I gotcha, there. Also, uh, they're all spaces. Good catch, thanks sir, ma'am, whoever you are. Thank you, E, Eek, JD, kind internet stranger. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Kill it, there it is, this is a new one. Submit, kill it, yes. Make a new one. Is this thing on? Sing on, make a new one, kill it. Edit, kill. Okay, that's perfect. There's your there's your crud right there, right? Create, update, create. What's the R? Whatever. <laughs> uh, create, read, update, delete. Right? We got all of them. Um, that's awesome. Uh, all right, I gotta jump because uh, I got a game to watch, and I only get a few games a year. But uh, check out detail view. In where? Uh, in this or in your, the stuff you sent over? Detail view, this may be what you mean. Oh, is this, is this the actual stuff that I've been using? The, the, is this the docs for it? Cause like that's the same Django views, generic import detail views. Like that's what I'm, where am I going? Models, why am I in the wrong place? I swear that's what I was using, I don't need that. 
Oh, down here, down here, down here. Django views generic edit. Yeah, is this all the same? To display items without editing. Yeah, perfect. Um, and I'll, that's one that I want for other projects. For this particular one, uh, in the kind of example that I'm writing up to do, I'm only gonna do the display as a list with this kind of functionality to it. Um, I'm trying to make things as simple as possible and then I'll add, so like that's one view less and then we can add another view as we as we make it more complicated and kind of progress through it. So um, that's how I'm approaching it, whatever. And it's also how, that's the easiest thing for me to get my head around. Um, Cause it's like, I'm, I'm really good at, like I'm better at seeing a thing faster, uh, if that makes sense. So cool. All right, I gotta run, so have a good one. Uh, swing by anytime and uh, I'm streaming lots these days. So uh, cool, hope you have a good one. Take it easy.